Hi, everyone. Let's cheer. Applause. This is my first slide. I'm a famous new media artist. I expected actually a lot more applause. Cheering. You probably recognize me. I know it's your stun. Yes, of course. I know. I feel so loved. Thank you. I love you so much. I love you. So when you think of an artist, you think and you think you think of culture. You think of this guy. You think of the the bohemian painting changing the world. I do that with creativity and technology every day. And you count on me for that. You count on me every last second of it. Jeremy, please help me change the world. But really, the reality is something more like this: a poor, impoverished uh, girl who's 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 not making any money. The average artist makes less than ten thousand dollars a year. Um, you know, it's just like, arts cuts, but cutbacks in Europe have been 50% over the last decade. And meanwhile, in Silicon Valley, guys like this, charming young men like this, are raking in record amounts of money with startups. And they're creating something called startup culture, funded to the tune of $65 billion last year. And that's not very much like what culture should look like, because their culture looks a little bit something like this. I've I've inflated a bouncy castle at a startup I've worked for, and a lot of white guys had a lot of fun. Um, some people got hurt, and it's just not, it's just not a sustainable practice. And unfortunately, sometimes the culture is a little bit more like this, and it's a lot of, uh, well, I guess it's not exactly like, that's not quite anatomically correct. Mine would be a little bit larger, but it's a really, it's a really strange world, and these people are not creating a good culture. They're not creating the culture I want, but how are they doing it? How do evil people figure out how to do amazing things with money? Well, they use something called lean. It was a man of, they use, use management technologies invented in Japan in the 1980s, and they build, and they measure, and they learn, and, and then they do it again and again. And this is actually, I think, a sexist way of describing waste. They hate waste. Investors hate waste. And they cinch in the waste like you must cinch in your waste if you're, if you're a woman these days. Oh, it's so terrible. Anyway, there's beer there on the side. I got started to get crazy with um, Kino. And what they're looking for is hockey stick growth. And then I couldn't find a rocket ship. Some, for some reason, there's a minion on the rock. I don't know. But they're looking for that, that, that graph that goes up and to the right. And they're looking for fun and laughs and good times and sex. Oh my God, so much sex. And how do they do it? You know, so they, don't, they start out like fragile, tiny little pigs like this. But there's one thing that they figured out that's marvelous that artists could really learn from. Accelerators and incubators, places where peers come together and they nurture one another and they give free money. They give free money to people who have no idea, who just raped women, who stole. And meanwhile, artists are out in the cold. They're, they're friendly snowmen, friendly snowmen. I don't know why there's a lizard there, but they're friendly snowmen all on their own. They're very happy. They make a smile, but they're cold and alone. They're, I'm actually quite lonely up here. And you know, they're great at empathy. They love the world. They're trying to make the world a better place or really make it a better place. If only hugs could scale. And they can't, I don't know, the spider, I, don't, I didn't put that spider there, Come, it, the spider came from a startup. Um, and what if, what if though, what, there's a solution, what if we could take the best of both worlds? What if we could take all of the good from the business world, not the racism and the sexism, and we could take all the great things from the art world, all the creativity and empathy with all the management, we'd get this lean artist, which is my idea for a lean accelerator where we teach management to artists. And I did it in Germany. That's why there's sauerkraut and pretzels. I did this and I found 10 artists and I gave them all the money I had, which Honestly, it wasn't that much, and you can help me with that later. So we created 10 beautiful startups built on empathy, built on creative thinking, built on changing the world, and they are quite cool, actually. It was, it was really interesting to make artists be management kind of people, to think about how to build a business. And they came up with these startups, CCT, uh, Got, Got Need, Aurora, Bata, Fly, and Cola, they all had, look, they got the names, or it all looks like startups, right? So they learned something, taught them how to listen, I thought they to learn, and they're trying to speak the language investment. So CCCT is one example, they came, they came up with this idea, what if we're, we're giving away all this free labor, but we waste a lot of time arguing and as volunteers, what if we had a standard system like Creative Commons for labor exchange? That's CCT. It's a great idea, I think. Aurora, this one blew my mind. What if we had fashionable jewelry that you could wear, and when you were sexually harassed, it would auto-report to government so we could track the data regarding sexual harassment, which is at all-time lows. 
These things would change the world. And they only need one thing. They need you. And I think everyone that I've met at this conference, it's been really beautiful because everyone, every single person I've met believes that if we get behind these people that have amazing ideas that can change the world, if we could just give them everything we have, that something cool could happen. And so thank you. There's a lot of people here that deserve your support, and I'm not one of them. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.